Hey everybody, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. And this time we have something that's big and heavy and cool looking. This is the Takayuki VG10 Hammered Damascus Cleaver, 195 millimeter. Had to spread that across two pages. So this is uh, composed of uh, multiple layers. So it's, we have the core cutting edge steel, which you can see peeking out right there is uh, in the center of this knife is VG10 full stainless steel heat treats about 60 Rockwell and what they do is put a multi layered Damascus uh, cladding on there out of soft stainless materials and then they've uh, put a hammered finish over the top of that and you, this is such a big blade you get lots of hammering so you can really see that hammer texture that should contribute quite a bit to food release or food sticking less to a blade that's this tall. Uh, you can kind of see your layers there and then the coarse steel. It's got a bit of a polish to it you can tell. So it's a fairly polished blade but really neat looking blade. So all stainless for easy maintenance. Weight and dimensions can vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 354 grams or 12.5 ounces. The edge length, the usable cutting edge, is about 195 millimeters or 7.7 .7 inches. And you can see the overall length about 313 millimeters for the whole blade from the front here to the back of the handle. The spine thickness, it's a fairly thin blade overall uh, for the size of it. So it's about 2 millimeters thick. I got all the way down, pretty much the same all the way down. It's quite stiff, as you might guess, being tall like that and layered. And height-wise, I got about 84 millimeters of height at the back and about 86 towards the middle and then it kind of shrinks up a little towards the front like you would expect. Handle is a red pack of wood which is a stabilized wood product and we do have a partial tang on here so you can see we've got a looks like to be a pinned on bolster metal bolster on the front and then we've got a tang that goes part of the way through and then probably cuts off in here somewhere. Uh, the knife does have stainless rivets on it and again the bolster is stainless so you've got nice fit and finish on this they've relieved the choil the back of the blade and the spine just a little bit for comfort and also on, I'm sorry the spine right here and the choil into the neck a bit so it's all pretty comfortable this has a pretty nice out of the box edge it's got a decent edge bevel on it it looks pretty pretty nicely crafted fair amount of polish to it so I'll give this a 6 out of 10 on my out of the box scale definitely it'll probably get sharper for sure um, this is fairly thin at the edge. The overall blade is not super thick, but they grind it down pretty thin at the edge, so the performance should be quite good on this. The grinds seem pretty clean. The knife is pretty uh, straight. It's, I should say it's very straight. So there's what the edge looks like in the front of the blade. And just nicely fit and finished. Um, let's see, we want our beauty shot, so let's do that. See if I can capture some of that. It's a little tricky, as you might guess. We'll try that. And then you've got some etched in kanji right there on the right side of the blade as you'd be holding it and some markings. And then this is the left side of the blade again as you'd be holding it and using it. Again, it's a real nice looking blade. Uh, balance point is going to be forward, <laughs> which it typically is. The handle's pretty darn light, partial tang. There's your balance point about right there. It's in front of your pinch grip, so you're going to have that weight forward bias on a pinch grip. Definitely a racket grip, big time. Uh, a lot of people pinch these. They have different uh, positions. They hold their hands on these. If they want to choke up a little, you can grab it way up here. You can do this if you're trying to do some detail work with the tip. So these can be surprisingly good for detail work if you do your part to learn how to use that. Uh, blade and where things are in relation to the size of it and uh, again there's lots of ways to hold this blade depending on what you would like to do with it um, but uh, let's look at the cutting board so here's what it looks like on the cutting board as far as the edge profile shape and you can see it has kind of a fair amount of curve to it until you get to the back and then we've got it kind of flows into a stop at the heel so the back part about right here can chop pretty good in the back flows into that stop and then you have that belly towards the front and it does have a, it's not a rounded corner like some Nikita knives are so the tip will try to dig in but it doesn't seem to do that until right in here so this thing will rock a bit if you would like to do that but 
A lot of times with these, you're going to be push pull cutting, glide cutting. This will tip draw very nicely through product because you don't have to lift it super high to get that tip draw through there. So it's an interesting profile that can do a variety of uh, accommodate a variety of techniques. So it's a pretty neat package. So this is the Takayuki VG10 Hammered Damascus Cleaver 195 millimeter knife.